What is up Loud and Proud crowd? Welcome back to another video. This video is not one that I was intending on making, but this guy happened to be surfing the internet and came across a truck that I looked at and I decided within about 30 seconds I should probably have it. So, <laughs> so. Been there. Yeah, been there. So I went and grabbed some cash today and we're gonna go look at this truck. I'll show you the truck once, you know, if, if things start to go through and it starts to look like we are actually going to purchase it, then we'll go down there and, I'll, and we'll show you some stuff. But the guy's got like a pile of these trucks there and we're just like, dude, where do you get these things? So we're going to go look around. He's got a handful of trucks that are just cool. Like what, like what we, yeah, like just in general, like we just like these types of trucks. So um, it wasn't really something I was expecting to buy anytime soon, but Sometimes when you find a good deal, you've all been there. When you find a good deal, sometimes you just got to do it. Doesn't matter if it's a truck or just certain parts or you know whatever. Um, just some deals you just can't pass up. So hopefully it is what uh, it looks like online. And the guy called me and we went through everything. So he went through every panel on the truck and described it to me. You know how faded it was. Were there any major scratches? Were there any surface rust? Any major rust? Like he went through every single thing and you know ex you know detailed went through even on the frame like everything kind of told me how everything looked in certain areas so really feel good about it it's a couple hours away but um actually crazy thing is it's not too far what is it it's pro how much how far away is it from the guy that we just delivered the giveaway truck to it's south be close yeah it's gotta be close. south some it's gonna be south some but it's not it's not gonna be too much of a different drive it's gonna be a different drive but it's general area that direction so kind of cool we're gonna see how things go and um we may or may not be going home with another truck. If you guys are watching this video and you haven't heard yet, we are doing an ATV or $5,000 cash giveaway, link in description. Pick up some new t-shirts like this one. We got lanyards, we got some other new redesigned t-shirts from the previous giveaway that we kind of revamped and redesigned to make them look a little, little bit cooler, a little bit cleaner. Um, we got some of that stuff up on the website right now and every $25 you spend gets you another entry closer to winning either $5,000 or a brand new 2018 Can-Am Outlander 450. And yes, the four-wheeler, four-wheeler drive. I've had a lot of people ask if it's four-wheeler drive. It's four-wheel drive, um, but yeah. You guys get great stuff. You get to help support moving the channel forward and doing stuff like this, which is really cool because it's we've come a long way and uh, we plan to go a lot further with things. So everything is greatly appreciated on that end of support. So thank you guys so much. Let's go check out these trucks. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. It is two days later since I filmed that intro, and guys, it was kind of, the trucks that we were originally going to look at, okay, it was just like this, the truck, it was a truck, sorry, just like this, except once we got there, we realized there was rust all over the rockers, rust in the cab corners, rust in the frame, actually some holes in the frame, some other stuff, and massive cracks and dents in the bed, and I was just like, okay, the truck's seven grand, but, I'm not gonna, I can't do that. There's no way I can buy it, you know what I mean? So, just had to pass it up, and I'm glad that I did. And then about 45 minutes after we left that guy's place, we're headed down the street, and I look up on Craigslist, and I see a truck just popped up about 20 hours ago on, you know, on Craigslist, and it was a truck that I had seen on Craigslist for months. I'd, and it was pretty expensive, you know, it was like 12.5, and I was like, ah, it's a regular cab, you know, it is a manual, you know, all this stuff. I'm like, ah, it's just, but it's just, just, I don't know, it's just not just not a 12.5 truck to me right now. You know what I mean? Like, if I had 12.5 and I was looking for that exact truck, it'd be a 12.5 truck. Just for me, I wasn't in the market, it just wasn't, you know, whatever. This truck pops back up on the market, I'm not gonna tell you the price, but thousands less than what it was, thousands less. And I was like, holy crap. So I went in immediately, the next day I went over and bought the truck. And it's a sweet little truck. Um, and now, I say little, it's a big truck, but it's it's just cool. It's just really, really cool. And it just reminds me so, so much of my grandfather's truck that he had. The only difference is his had a red stripe down the side. And anybody who knows my grandfather's story about his first gen, it was a first gen, so that's what I bought. But it's a five speed manual, four wheel drive, regular cab long bed in cherry condition. The frame, awesome. You know, there's still even factory paint on a lot of it. Um, the body, perfect. No dents, no dings, no scratches. And the paint, flawless. I mean, it is beautiful, okay? The moldings, none of them are like falling off. Everything is perfect on the truck, so I'm probably gonna keep it that way. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just too nice, way too nice. And for what I paid for it, I could not pass it up. Okay, and the reason I'm not going to say what I paid for it is some people are like, oh, you didn't pay enough, oh, you paid too much, all this, I hate that kind of stuff, so I'm just not going to, I'm not even going to say. Um, 
but it was a really good deal. Let's just say it was 12.5 is what he was asking, and the truck's pretty much worth that, but I got it for thousands less than that, so I'm just super stoked. So let me show you the truck. It's, pre it's pretty sick. And I know I was planning on buying an OBS next, and I'm still planning on buying one here within the next couple weeks, but um, I just couldn't pass this truck up when I saw it. I was like, I've gotta have it. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, look at that, boys. The cherry first gen, literally red. I mean, it is so mint. I cannot get over it. And what I paid for, I'm not even going to say, but I got a really good deal on this truck. Okay? Really good deal. Oh, what do you see on the front? Oh, look. Other than that, like, little bit of grime and, you know, debris down there. That's factory black paint up there with just some surface rust showing. And that's how most of the frame is. I mean, it's in awesome, awesome condition. That's factory black paint. And then you can see there's some surface rust starting through, but, you know, nothing to concern you. You know what I mean? Fenders are just perfect. Nothing underneath. I mean, it's nice. The moldings are all nice and tight. There's some dirt in there I gotta clean up, but, I mean, it was just, I mean, it's just awesome, awesome condition. And just look at the tail light bezels, perfect shape, the bumper, the moldings, look how straight the body lines are. I mean guys, got a temporary tag on it. The only thing rusty about this truck is the exhaust and uh, that's because he's like, well, you know, I bought the truck and I really haven't driven it too much in the last three years. so. The exhaust just kind of held some moisture and just kind of rusted, but other than that, I mean, the, the truck is in awesome shape. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's some surface rust starting on the frame and stuff, but even the even the the leaf packs right here and the hangers are still like factory black. You know what I mean? It's just it's just so amazing. And then get underneath, and these always rot so bad on these trucks. Look at that. Cab mounts. Perfect. Again, there's some surface rust starting, but nothing bad. These. I mean, just look at that. This is always the one thing to go on these trucks before anything else. And if these are in good shape, you know the rest of the truck's in pretty good shape. Like I said, their surface rust is 27 years old, but just no holes in the bed. I mean, the supports are perfect. It's just, it was just way too nice to pass up. And now I will show you the flaws. The typical crack in the grill. That's not anything I'm worried about. I'm talking more like the interior. Door panel's out, but he sent it with the truck. It just needs new door clips and stuff. Other than that, everything functions. Windows work. I mean, locks work. You know what I'm saying? Everything works. This piece is missing right now, but he sent it with the truck. It's right here. Five speed, boys. Five speed transmission that was completely gone through. He said when he bought it, he had the thing completely went through. He said they changed out a lot of components and updated a lot of parts and stuff to make sure everything was perfect and it shifts so flawless. I drove it for three and a half hours home last night. I mean, I would know. I mean, it, it shifts like a dream. All the red interior. I mean, look at the bed even, you know what I mean? These beds are usually in rough shape. No rust in the stuff. No rust in there. Oh no, there's a little bit of dirt, you know what I mean? But that's it. The bed's in really good shape. I mean, but guys, it was just, it was too nice to pass. Just too nice to pass. Beautiful, beautiful truck, and I'm super excited. Before anybody jumps any conclusions about it, like, oh, dude, you already have a first gen, you have another first gen that's not done. That first gen, that's my dad's project. That's on his time, his dime, that type of deal. You know, like, that's not my project, so you can't look at me and be like, oh, get that done. You know what I'm saying? And then with the other first gen, we are going to get it done. I just, we just discussed, you know, 
um, even building it you know a couple days ago so that's still going to be a project in and of itself that we're going to do but this truck i got something really special in store for this There's something really special in store for this so i'm super excited about that and just couldn't be happier so just wait be patient with me i'm going to reveal what this truck is for and the purpose that it's going to have but it is a beautiful, beautiful truck. You guys are incredible. I really appreciate you. Every ounce of support is greatly appreciated, buying the merch and all that stuff and being able to make this kind of stuff happen. And just, yeah, you know, all that stuff. It's just, it's just been amazing. So absolutely love you guys. Don't forget to go pick up a new decal. We have the Eat My Soot certified Prius repellent decals now out. And, um, there's not going to be many of them left, okay? They're selling pretty quick and there's a limited number of them. So when those run out, they're just kind of, you know, they're just gone for a little while. Uh, probably for uh, about a month before we get more in. So, anyways, definitely go and pick one of those up. We've got new Team Loud and Proud decals are in. We've got new shirts and some other stuff. We've got some new keychains on the way. Lanyards on the way. we got some new lanyards up right now, though some royal blue lanyards and they're actually really sweet so every $25 you spend gets you right now entered to an either $5,000 cash to kick off your own project truck or car you know whatever you want to do with it or a brand new 2018 Can-Am which is sitting back in there let me go show you that really quick or you have the chance to win this 2018 Can-Am Outlander 450 with like three hours on it okay brand new yeah just brand new tires brand new wheels I mean, everything's just perfect, clean, nothing is dirty, nothing's caked in mud. I wouldn't go cake in a giveaway machine in mud. You know, I wouldn't want to win something nasty, so I'm not going to do that to you guys. This is the way I'm looking at it, and this is the way that I'm doing it, okay? You guys watching my videos, leaving your likes, leaving your comments, buying the merch, you guys are helping me make my dream come true and helping me obtain more cool stuff, more nice stuff, exciting stuff. I want to be able to give cool and exciting stuff back to my supporters and my fans and the people who support my dream. So if you guys buy a t-shirt, I want you to be able to win either $5,000 cash to go build your own you know, truck, your own dream truck, or a brand new ATV so you can go have a blast and just have some fun. And you know, as like an appreciation thing, you know, I'm gonna try to, as much as I can, give back more and more and more. I could just sell t-shirts and not do any giveaways and just, you know, put all the money, you know, in, in a bank account, you know what I'm saying? But I want to be able to just fuel you guys with your passions and stuff too. So I want to be able to give you guys, you know, cash to do stuff, trucks to do stuff, ATVs to just go have fun, stuff like that. I want to be able to give back to the people who are giving out to me and helping me do what I want to do. You know what I mean? So really excited. Really appreciate you guys. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that beautiful truck. Just, just so pretty. Thank you guys so much. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family. Enter the giveaway, ends August 20th. Every purchase you make will get you closer to winning either $5,000 cash or a brand new ATV. Every $25 you spend is another entry. So every, basically, sum it up, every t-shirt you buy is an entry, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll get you in the next video. Peace.